The file browser is positioned on the left side of the SoundBridge interface and is expandable for those long file names. Right on top of it are main browser view changer buttons. First one shows the user's Skytrax I.O. account area. Here users can navigate through their projects, projects shared with them by other Skytrax I.O. users, upload tracks to Skytrax I.O. projects, make new Skytrax I.O. projects, download them into SoundBridge by double-clicking, delete them or search for a specific project by name. Clicking this button will open a dialog in which users can search for collaborators. Lower area of this view shows all of the user's collaborators he worked with. You can drag and drop these on projects to add them as collaborators. Here audio stems from the currently selected projects are shown and can be previewed. Last option here shows all the collaborators assigned to the currently selected project. Second view button shows the file browser that allows browsing files on local hard drives. Right on top of it is the search bar that allows you to search the folder you're currently navigated into. Recent button shows you your most visited directories. Buttons directory 1, directory 2 and directory 3 are there for you to store three favorite folders for easy access. Think of this as your folder speed dial. So whichever folder you navigate into, while one of these numbers is selected, that folder will stay there for you to reach with a click of a mouse. The toggle preview button with the play logo on it will, when clicked, play and stop the audio sample you have selected in the file browser. When auto preview is enabled in the edit menu options, the samples will preview automatically when you select them. The glue button is particularly useful when using SoundBridge on a touchscreen device. If enabled, the last selected sample from the file browser will be imported anywhere you click or tap in the sequencer. This volume knob determines the volume at which the audio samples are previewed. Audio files have an icon that identifies them and you can drag and drop them into your projects. Plugin browsing window displays VST browsing windows in which VSTs are sorted into categories for easier navigation. FX section shows you all of the SoundBridge built-in plugins. VST2 lists all of the VST2 compatible plugins detected in your VST folder and VST3 similarly lists all of the VST3 plugins that are found on your system. Double-clicking any of these effects loads the effect onto the currently selected track but you can also drag and drop these to tracks. On top of this section, you have a search window that will help you to easily locate a favorite plugin if you have a vast library.